My kids were little, and I won't never forget my son asking me, Mommy, are you going to die? After surgery, um, the neurosurgeon came out and said, you know, your husband has three to 24 months to live, and this is a disease that really no one survives. I had to explain to them, like I'm sure many do, um, I don't know if I'm going to die. Tumors that, that grow inside the brain uh, will cause a series of symptoms that are more a manifestation of damage to brain tissue that normally controls other functions. Ben and I were on vacation in July 2005 and his thumb went numb. At the end of the vacation, he felt like his tongue was not working. People were constantly saying, you look really tired, what is wrong? There was this like glossy look. And I was seeing sort of a prism out of my right eye. I was referred to a neurologist, told to get a scan, and that afternoon was told I had a baseball-sized mass and needed surgery. The surgery went very well, but within six weeks, um, he experienced paralysis and other deficits that substantially affected his quality of life. Of all the cancers that occur in human beings, about one and a half percent occur in the brain. So it's not a highly common form of cancer, but it is a very aggressive form of cancer. Uh, about 12,000, 13,000 people die in the United States each year of malignant brain cancer. You never know, hey, is mom gonna die? And they have told me many times they're really scared and it really stinks to have to be a kid not knowing if your mom's gonna live or die because that's your mom. It's his suffering during those four months that um, has been very difficult. I didn't know um, that people suffered like that from this disease. For brain tumors particularly, the major advances that have happened in the last couple of years have given us insight that in fact malignant brain tumors are not one disease. In fact, they fall into various classes or series of types of brain tumors. And as we break apart the tumor into different subtypes, we gain an appreciation that in fact there are nuances or differences from tumor to tumor that we can exploit therapeutically. Today, this afternoon, for that patient that's diagnosed with a disease where we know there's molecular determinants of why it behaves that way, for which we have a drug today, we want to line those patients up with the best therapy today. We don't have to wait. It's not a 10-year wait for a new drug. We want to use the drugs we have available today, right now, in a proper way for the right patient. That's exciting. That's what TGEN's all about. This is a disease that people don't survive and they suffer. Anything we can do to improve that, we're very dedicated to.